Hello everyone and welcome to another video with IT Sense. My name is Faisal and in this video we will see how to configure ADFS or Active Directory Federation Services for Office 365 or Exchange Online. Active Directory Federation Services, as you know, it's for configuring and providing single sign-on features. Uh, it requires on-prem infrastructure. Benefit is you don't need to sync your password to Azure AD because authentication request or request will be validated and authenticated against your on-prem ADFS environment, um, which will use your local domain controller for password validation. What is required for ADFS? You need Windows Server 2012 R2 or above. I will be using Windows Server 2016 in my demo. We need ADFS server farm with at least one server running ADFS role. In production environment, you will have at least two, I would say, behind a load balancer. Uh, server with running web application proxy role. This is the role that where the client request, or, sorry, this is the role where the request from Azure AD will come from. This server usually sits in a DMZ network and it's not a part of a domain. So in my lab environment, I have a application proxy roles um, that will be on one server. That server will be sitting on a DMZ network. ADFS server will be a part of a domain and web application proxy as, as, as it will design on DMC, it won't be in domain, it will be part of work group. Also a valid third party SSL certificate will be required, no self-signed certificates. And Azure AAD Connect is also required. And ideally you will have Azure AAD Connect already installed on a server for user synchronization. If not, that can be installed on a server you may have a dedicated server on Azure AD Connect, or you can use domain controller, but ideally a dedicated server in production environment is recommended. Um, you may have already Azure AD Connect server installed and configured in your environment. Maybe at that time, currently you're using password hash sync, and for some reason you want to move to ADFS. In this case, the same installation can be used, so wizard need to be rerun and some changes will be made to change the domain from Azure AD domain mode from managed to federated. This is the lab's topology. Um, I have one internal network. I have a domain controller, dc.itsense.net. itsense.net is my AD domain name as well as my external domain name. So I'll be using split DNS here. I, I, I also have one Azure AD Connect server, which is currently installed and configured and it's using, it's, it's a synchronizing user with password hash sync configuration. On this server, uh, adfs01.itsense.net, I will install ADFS server role and as I mentioned on a DMC network, I have one server called WAP01. It's a part of work group and I will be installing web application proxy roles on this one. 192.168.1.0 subnet is internal and 192.168.2.0 subnet is a DMC subnet. My firewall is allowing incoming HTTPS request from external or in particularly from Office 365 or AKA Azure Active Directory. And it's allowing HTTPS requests from Azure Active Directory to web application proxy. And then my web application proxy is allowed to connect to Azure ADFS server or uh, HTTPS. And then internally my ADFS server will query my domain controller and pass the response back to web application proxy and web application proxy will pass the request back to Azure AD. 
Also, I will have a couple of Windows 10 clients, which I will be testing ADFS with using different browsers. And you will see. Steps for configurations. Certificate is required. So certificate request needs to be generated. And once certificate is there, it needs to be installed on ADFS server. And then we will export the server from ADFS, so export the certificate from ADFS server and import it on web application server, as well as copy it on Azure AD Connect server, as it we will need that during the wizard configuration. As DMZ web application proxy server is not a part of a domain, so some host file entries will require to be created for name resolution purposes. So my DMZ web application proxy server can resolve my ADFS server name and Azure AD Connect name. As I have split DNS, like itsense.net internal and external domain, so I need to have a host record for my ADFS federated name, which will be fs.itsense.net, as well as uh, it will need a host record for web application proxy server, as web application proxy server is not part of a domain. So these host record will need to be created manually in internal DNS. After that, web application proxy configuration will be done so that web application proxy can be configured for remote management. So ADFS can establish connection to it. And finally, uh, we will run the Azure AD Connect setup to change the domain uh, itsense.net from manage to federated. So currently the domain status in Azure Active Directory is, is managed and the users are getting authenticated against Azure Active Directory because I'm syncing my user accounts as well as I'm uh, synchronizing my passwords and using seamless SSO, or same sign-on, you can call it. However, I would like to change this to federated means, instead of Azure Active Directory to authenticate my user, uh, my ADFS setup will authenticate my users against my internal domain controller. So I don't have to synchronize my passwords anymore to Azure Active Directory, right? Uh, as, as it will be done locally. And uh, as I said, uh, the only thing is it requires additional setup, which is ADFS servers and web application proxy servers. So this is it and it's time to jump into demo. And in demo, you will see that uh, I will go through all the steps and we'll configure Azure ADFS. We will also enhance it or tune it for to have single sign-on experience uh, with user running uh, Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer web browsers and like every other video, I haven't prepared for this. So you may see some hiccups, some issues, some problems. So we'll be solving those problems all the way. So, and this is the beauty of, you know, ad hoc video production where um, you will see like real life. You might see real life issues and problems and things forgotten <laughs> and then we will fix it through and finally we'll achieve the target. So, okay, let's jump to the lab.